students sai ram let us continue with evs one lesson number 7 food and nutrition in today's video we are going to see what are the methods of pres preserving the various types of food stuffs which we eat in our day to day life so let us start by learning the new words here comes the new words your first word is p r e s e r v i n g preserve preserving means to keep something safe for a longer time okay to keep something to store something you are talking here about food stuffs to do store food stuffs in a safe and in a good place where they don't get damaged that is called as preserving second one is d e s t r o y e d destroyed destroyed means to damage something third one p r e c a u t i o n s precautions precautions means safety measures to be taken for handling food stuffs so that they do not get damaged or they do not get spoiled fourth one is t r e s s u r e c o o k e r pressure cooker pressure cooker is an utensil which is used for cooking food items okay we can cook uh, dal we can cook various types of curries we can cook rice so that is a pressure cooker which is a utensil which is used in kitchen fifth one is s p r o u t s sprouts sprouts means those you know moong then you can say masoor or watanas which we uh, soak in water and then if we sprout them or we if we keep them for a longer time sprouts develop on it so that is called as sprouts sixth one is s i f t i n g sifting means when you sift a whole flour like you know that is atta so that is called sifting whenever we make chapatis or whenever we make bhakri before that we sift that particular flour seventh one is s o a k e d soak soak means to soak means to keep some food items in water that is known as soak okay eighth one is p u l s e s pulses there are various pulses like dals are there grains are there those are called as pulses okay dals various types of dals they all come under pulses ninth one is n o u r i s h m e n t nourishment nourishment is a kind of you know good uh, quality which is used for the body that is called when you eat good and healthy food you get nourishment from that particular food items which helps you to keep your body fit and healthy so that is known as nourishment and the last one is d r u m s t i c k s drumsticks drumsticks are kind of vegetables they are long we have seen the photo of it in the previous videos so it is a kind of vegetable which provides you with lot of nourishment is that clear now as i told you what we are going to study in today's video we are going to study about how to preserve the nourishment in food ingredients means you have to follow some particular steps while preserving the food stuffs or while preserving the nourishment in food ingredients if you follow this the nourishment in food ingredients will be intact it will not get spoiled it will not get damaged so you have to take care of certain things or certain tips so today i'm going to give you important tips which you can uh, tell your mother also so she'll take care she must be knowing it but then too you can you know tell her that today i came to know about how to preserve the nourishment in food ingredients and you can share with her whatever you have understood from today's video she'll also be very happy and as well as she'll feel it very informative too, okay so look at this while preparing food items some of the constituents in the food stuffs can get destroyed yes very very important all the food items which we include in our daily diet contains some kind of nourishment in it but if we don't take proper care and if we use it or if we cook it anyhow then the nourishment in that particular food item may get destroyed and then it is of no use for your body so what are the things which you have to keep in mind following precautions can be taken so here come here are the tips which you have to follow while cooking look at this first one is while cooking food add as much water as necessary yes 
we need water to cook each and every food item but you have to take care that you do not add large amount of water in it only add required as much necessary water as required if you add in more water to that particular food item the nutrients or the nourishments in it can get destroyed so you have to be very very careful while adding water to any food items okay so first one was add water as much as necessary while cooking food next one use a pressure cooker or cover the food with a lid while cooking it why it is said so because in pressure cooker when you cook food first of all you require less fuel because in pressure cooker it takes less time okay and as uh, compared to utensil so if you cook vegetable in pressure cooker compared to a utensil pressure cooker you know saves time as well as uh, it saves a fuel also so you should always cook the food in pressure cooker whatever things you can cook in pressure cooker you should always cook it in pressure cooker and whenever while cooking food cover the food with a lid you should cover that particular utensil with a lid while cooking food so you should keep these two things in mind okay third one is sprout veg pulses before using them pulses as i told you moong is there matki is there these are all pulses so you should soak them in water for overnight and then you can sprout them you should keep them for a longer time and then sprouts develop on it which is very very healthy so sprout pulses before using them it gives you a maximum amount of nutrients from it use them while the sprouts are still small see sprout them but don't sprout them for a longer time keep them as much as required okay don't make the sprout so long let it be if you soak it if you soak it in water after that if you tie it in a cloth if you remove all the water if you drain out all the water and you tie the pulses in a cloth within a day sprouts will come out but if you keep them for another day big sprouts grow and so that is also not good so keep for one or two days for sprouting pulses okay and use them do not wait for them to grow long as i told you do not wait for more days to grow long let it be small the let the sprouts be small that much is necessary and that much is okay and healthy also fourth one is use whole grain flour without sifting see whenever we use flour or whenever we make chapatis and whenever we make bhakris we first put the atta in a strainer like that and we do we sift it so don't do that directly you can use that whole flour and you can make a dough out of it no need of sifting it okay then fifth one eat fruits like chikus grapes figs apples along with their skin so these are the fruits which we can easily eat with their skin so don't need of peeling of their skin you can use it and you can eat it with their skins only so which are the fruits which you can eat with their skins chikus grapes figs apples so you should never peel these fruits you should eat them along with their skin now besides vegetables like carrot cucumber radishes beetroot should be eaten raw in the form of salad yes see carrot radish cucumber beetroot these are the vegetables which we can eat raw also you don't need to cook them we can eat it raw we can eat it in the form of salads or you can eat it as if if you feel hungry if nothing is there in the house if a carrot is there you can eat it you can uh, you can peel off the skin and then you can eat it raw okay so eat these vegetables raw which will be more nourishing to your body if you cook these vegetables the nourishment in it is lost so it is of no use okay then if if you eat that also the nourishment which you are going to get from these vegetables are you are going to get in less amount so eat these vegetables raw only in the form of salads or whatever however you like it you can put it in the sandwich also you can grate it and eat it but eat it raw okay 
whenever possible mix two or three food stuffs in a dish we always do see while preparing dal we add so many things in it we add turmeric we add oil we add jeera we add kadhi patta so many things so our indian food items are itself a mixture of so many food ingredients so we don't need to worry about this thing we always mix so many healthy ingredients in the food to make it more tastier and spicier and you know very healthy to eat so indian food is the i can say is the best food which you can get a variety all over the country in our uh, country you can get a lot of variety from sweet dishes to starters to soups so we don't need to worry we mix we always mix more than 3 4 items in one food stuffs okay and for example add onions or potatoes to ussals whenever we make ussals okay or whenever we we make dal we always add tomatoes we always add onions so i told you we don't need to pay so much attention to this point because we we do cooking by mixing lot of items in one food stuffs and we make okay add drumsticks to curries drumstick is a kind of vegetable you can add it in dal or you can add it in some kind of curries also so drumsticks are very very healthy so these are the options given to you according to your choice you can add whichever vegetables you want it is not at only drumsticks you can add whatever vegetables you want according to your choice add some soaked dals while cooking vegetables yes while cooking vegetables see some people have a habit they add some dals to specific vegetables we we may or we may not but if you are not adding try it once and see if you can add you can add tur dal you can add moong dal you can add masoor dal to various kinds of vegetables which you want to and you can try it out once now what did we study in today's video we studied about preserving the nourishment in food ingredients how should we preserve the nourishment in food ingredients and what are the simple tips which we have to follow while preserving the nourishment in food ingredients i hope you have understood today's video what i have in uh, what i have taught you in today's video and i i hope and i am sure that you will share it with your mother and elders in your house even if they know it they will be, they will be very happy to listen it from you and some things they must not be knowing it so even they will take care cooking next time they will keep this in mind so share it with your mother especially in the house and you know uh, i hope you have understood today's videos and i hope how to you have understood how we can preserve the nourishment in food ingredients thank you for listening to me carefully goodbye take care